good evening brothers and sisters and welcome to you all for this requiem mass of late deacon sylvester de sosa we are blessed that our apostolic administrator bishop paul hinder will be the main celebrant and together with reverend the holy family for years 1929 under late aldo st the late victor the late francis camille the cousins of the in silvester personally and closely i would describe him as triple a the first a available for christ no matter what he was always there available in the morning or any time of the day just call him and he was ready to assist a man of prayer a lover of mary our mother Deacon Sylvester imparted faith formation to the faithful with love and care. He worked hard and dedicated himself selflessly for the Lord. An obedient, spiritual, caring, and generous person in nature. Helping the poor and the needy was his forte. The second A stands for alert. Deacon was always alert. watching around and attending to the needs of the catholic church in kuwait he used to see and manage the welfare of the catholic church on the civil front assisting us in obtaining visas renewing of the church contract interacting with various sources in order to make sure that everything is up to date and clear he made sure everything is all right we had nothing to worry as deacon sylvester took stock of things professionally the third a active he was not only active but interactive would go out of himself to reach out to anyone who are lost ignorant and helpless his passion truly was bringing people into the catholic church he was humble and he cared greatly he definitely made an impact on a lot of faithful Today he is watching from above. We are proud of his contribution to the Catholic Church in Kuwait. He has left behind a legacy to thank and praise God always. On behalf of Bishop Paul Hinder, clergy, nuns, faithful, we would like to express our deepest heartfelt sympathies to his wife, children, grandchildren, friends and relatives. We believe Deacon Sylvester is in the company of saints where the words of the scriptures echo Well done good and faithful servant come and share 
your master's happiness. Let us strive to lead a good life and a life pleasing to God always. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Dear sisters and brothers, we are gathered in the name of the Lord, the risen Lord, the giver of life. Let us now, first of all, at the beginning of this Holy Mass, humbly admit that we are sinners and ask the Lord to cleanse our hearts. I confess, I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my, my brothers and sisters, and sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my, my fault, through my, my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, giver of pardon and loving author of our salvation, grant, we pray you, in your mercy, that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, and all your saints, Deacon Sylvester, who has passed from this world, may attain a share in eternal happiness through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw a scroll in the right hand of the one who sat on the throne. It had written on both sides and was sealed with seven seals. Then I saw a mighty angel who proclaimed in a loud voice, who is worthy to open the scroll and break its seal. But no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or to examine it. I shed my tears because no one was found worthy to open the scroll or to examine it. One of the elders said to me, Do not weep. The lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has triumphant, enabling him to open the scroll with its seven seals. Then I saw standing in the midst of the throne and the four living creatures and the elders a lamb that seemed to have been slain. He had seven horns and seven eyes. These are the seven spirits of God set out into the whole world. He came and received the scroll from the right hand of the one who sat on the throne. When he took it, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders fell down before the Lamb. Each of the elders held a harp and gold bowls filled with incense, which are the prayers of the holy ones. They sang a new hymn. Worthy are you to receive the scroll and break open its seals, for you were slain, and with your blood you purchased for God those from every tribe and tongue, people and nation. You made them a kingdom and priests for our God, and they will reign on earth. The word of the Lord. Response or your psalm, your response shall be. The Lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. The Lamb has made us. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. Let them praise his name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to him with trimble and harp. For the Lord loves his people and he adorns the lonely with victory. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. 
This is the glory of all his faithful. Alleluia. Kindly rise. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. be with you and, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus drew near Jerusalem, he saw the city and wept over it, saying, If this day you only knew what makes for peace, but now it is hidden from your eyes. For the days are coming upon you when your enemies will raise a place said against you. They will encircle you, come you in all sides. They will smash you to the ground and your children within you. And they will not leave one stone upon another within you because you did not recognize the time of your visitation. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear sisters and brothers in Christ, May the Lord give you peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. I think this day is the only one during the liturgical year where the two scripture readings speak about shedding tears, weeping. In the first reading, the seer is shedding tears because there is nobody who can break the seals of the book of life. And in the gospel, it is Jesus himself who is shedding tears. He can do that by sadness after uh, the death of someone who is close to us, as a time of mourning. It can be the, sh the tears of anger because people don't understand the seriousness of the situation as it happens now in the life of Jesus. It can be simply also because something doesn't work as it should. We have the right to shed tears when we are in such a situation. And Jesus shows us it's not the only time that he sheds tears during his life. We know that from the Gospels. What is interesting in the first reading is that someone is consoling the seer and said, don't weep, there is someone who can open the book, break the seals. The lion of Judah coming out of the tribe of Judah. But what is interesting, at the end it's not the lion who is opening the book, it is the lamb the sacrificed Lamb of God, who is the giver of life because through shedding his blood, he is giving life. 
And that is what we are celebrating in each Holy Mass. The sacrifice of the Lamb of God who through his death on the cross is sharing his life and putting it in our own heart that we can pass through the threshold of death in confidence and deep faith because on the other side someone is waiting for us and waiting as the one who says come and share the joys with me in the presence of the Heavenly Father. Amen. Let us make our prayers of intercession as part of our pilgrimage of faith, following Christ to that eternal Jerusalem, our promised inheritance. Let our response be, Lord, let us feel your presence. Kindly repeat, Lord, let us feel your presence. That the church may become a living sign, an instrument of unity and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let us feel your presence. That as a community of believers, we may not be divided by pity barriers of hatred and prejudice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord let us feel your presence. That we may avoid making excuses in responding to the demands of our faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let us see your presence. That life's misfortunes or sickness may not distract us from our resolve to, fl to follow Jesus, even in suffering. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord let us feel your, your presence. presence. That eternal salvation be given to the faithful departed. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let, let us feel your presence. God, our Father, may we never look back or hesitate to move forward in the journey towards your kingdom. May these prayers strengthen our faith. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
brother and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, whose mercy is beyond measure, receive it favor our humble prayers, and through the sacrament of our salvation, grant to Deacon Sylvester remission of all his sins, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for he is the salvation of the world, the life of the human race, the resurrection of the dead. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. <laughs> gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Paul, our Apostolic Administrator, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Deacon Sylvester, whom you have called to, from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her most just spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be cohesed to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, For the, kingdom the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, let's offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, almighty and merciful God, that the soul of Deacon Sylvester, for whom we have offered the sacrifice of praise to your majesty, may through the power of this sacrament be cleansed of all his sins and receive from your mercy the happiness of perpetual light through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.